Good morning and welcome to another video of MechWarrior Online. Today we're looking at the Champion 3N. Uh, this uh, is very similar looking to my cha my other Champion video. However, it's a completely different loadout. We have ER meads, uh, one, two, three, four of them, and two large pulse lasers and heat sinks for a total heat dissipation of 1.41. We have a late engine 280, which I believe was the same engine I used in the other one as well. Um, I hope you enjoy these two videos. Oh, and a targeting computer. Hope you enjoy these two videos. Stay tuned for more. And I'll see you on the battlefield. Okay, we are in the Champion 3N. This is a laser build on this mech. Uh, we are going with two large pulse lasers and a smattering of ER meads. They are on two different um, skill nodes, basically, uh, but our sorry, uh, firing groups, skill nodes. Um, but we will try to fire them together. We're getting a little chop here. I don't know if it's me or him or what. We had some internet problems this morning, so I'm not sure what's going on. Hopefully that doesn't continue. So far, I seem to be smooth, but that doesn't mean anything. Fire around. And we'll come around and do it again. That's two. Yeah, that gave me critical, but... And I fell. <laughs> And now I gotta get back up here. Oh, we can get up here at least. Give us a chance to cool off. Yeah, that was done on purpose. Uh huh. He's over that hill. I don't want to go that way then. Oh, maybe I do. Echo is Eben Jaguar. Let's go see what he's doing. He may have. Uh, LRMs, in which case we want him off the field as fast as we possibly can. There's two of them here. It's not good. No, it is not good. Yep. We are in trouble. Yeah, and I didn't override. <laughs> How am I still alive? How? Wow, I have no idea. Our guys just must have come up here at the nick of time to save me. <laughs> to get down. I don't want to be the focus because one, I need to cool off and two, I've taken enough. I've taken enough, buddy. I uh, want to get a better shot on him if I can. He's already under heavy fire, so I'm not in a hurry. There we go. And a kill. We have a kill. Now this is not the best position for me. You know what? There's Charlie. That guy's over there. I'm going to go after him. Uh, and Charlie 4. I don't have the frontal armor anymore to go up the top of that ridge and do the things. So I'm going to go around and assist in the kills of other things. If I can. That's a good range for me. If I can get an angle. Oh, it's not good. There's a whole bunch of them up there. But we want to get down here and engage. Yep. We'll cool off while we close in with the group. This mech runs a little hot. As you can see, but it is fun, especially when I'm alphaing like this. But I mean, what are you gonna do? That's it for me until I cool off. Maybe get some pulses in here to sort of wreck him a little bit more.
Oh. Oh, they had it over his head. Then move forward. That was an alpha. I took a chance on the heat there, and it paid off. Uh, I thought I was going to possibly overheat to the top of the scale there, but as has been mentioned to me in some of the comments, I need to alpha more with laser vomit builds. Specific builds, yes, but this one seems to be able to handle it once or twice and then back off kind of thing. And last target is a Vapor Eagle off in the corner. I don't know if he's DC or not. It's hard to tell. He's not moving. That's, uh, he has ping. It's just not. Maybe he's given up. I highly doubt we're going to get out there before he dies. But we will try. Get a shot off on him or two. Well, we got a shot and a kill assist and components as well. <laughs> so let's see the results of this. That comes up. 657 done, two killing blows, 10 kill assists, one solo, two KMDD, uh, component six. That's the large pulses going at it for you. And team stats, we are looking at 419. We're right up there, I did pretty really well. Good match overall. Team cohesion was great. I hope you enjoyed this video. Stay tuned for a second one, and I'll see you on the battlefield. Good morning, folks, and this is round two of the Laser Build Champion. We're going to stick with the group. Now we're going to find Itchy the Atlas and see where he goes and follow him in. Ah, ha, ha. It does mean moving a little slower, yes. Uh, it does mean taking a while to get into combat. But in the end, it'll be more beneficial to stick with the group. here but I'm gonna find out. No, I cannot. <laughs> I love that. We got a guy coming up behind us now too because that's not good. But we'll follow Itchy. Just need to get into combat range with something here. I don't want to shoot through Itchy, but I want to shoot. Oh no, I fell. That's not good. Yeah, and I got low signal. That's not good either. And it's behind me, of course. Wow, that was definitely not a good start for me. A very bad start, actually. Okay, back to the game, if we can. Unfortunately, I have to do that. Try and come around the outside here. Mm -hmm. Kill, but it's a painful one.
that didn't help. Gotta cool off a bit. Just gotta cool off a bit. I'm not gonna get a chance to though. Okay, we got a bit of a chance to. There we go. That's gonna hurt. Ooh. Thought I could get him before I blew up, but I didn't. Okay, oh well, that's okay. <laughs> we'll see what happens here. Ten and six, we should be able to win this. Uh, is uh, Itchy still alive? I hope so. No, he isn't. But Mekaj is, so we'll watch him. Mekaj? I'm not sure how to pronounce his name. He has no weapons, so we're not gonna watch him. <laughs> Yeah, it's just a matter of time here. Do this. Oh. Die already. The Vindicator that would not die. Vindicator has been vindicated. I'll see how the rest of this played out. There we go. 427, 410, 4 killing blows, 5 kill assists, 1 solo kill, 2 KMDDs, and a whole bunch of components. Let's take a quick look at the stats. 323, unfortunately, because I died on my own, it's considered a suicide, I my score goes down. But that's okay. Hope you enjoyed these two videos. Stay tuned for more, and I'll see you on the battlefield.